Okay, so this is part two. Stop it, guys. Okay. Anyways, this is my second part, but I have discovered because I had to go review that last video because I got very, very, very curious about the, the, my, the speed test before and the speed test now. My upload speed is in increasingly dropped actually for no reason it was like 1.85 now it's 85 like bump speed I'm terrible at identifying bump speed but to make a mega, mega, megabytes apart so don't take my device when it and when I say uh, bump speed because I am probably 100% wrong when I say that so look what that means. let's try one more time and see if I can get any higher Okay, that is that's nice. That's way better. The results on this is thousand times better than it's like quad, and that and the results are better. Zero point eighty five the first time. Now it's that now too because the the sig it's I guess it's the signal jump. It's so it's just the weather I guess. Let's try it one more time just for good keeping, safe keeping, shall we say? The internet actually is a lot faster. When I reset, what, well, what, in the sets I'm about to show you, let's try it one more time just for safekeeping, though. Sorry, it is still jumping, but it's not jumping as nicely as I thought it was. Now it's probably going to be really crappy, because this is the second speed test I've done in a row. I'm going to go with the better results. Bad results. Those are terrible results. But that's just because it's a second speed test, so we've got that, like, all qualified. So now I'm going to take you, uh, yeah, I'll take you. Oh, no, I won't take you down there. But what you're going to do, and let me get a picture of a router up here. Google, I, we have Apple modem, so, well, Apple, wait, yeah, we have an Apple modem. Hold on a second. Pick. Of an apple modem. Dang, that's an, not very impressive. Hold on. So hold on, I gotta get a recent one. Here we go. I messed up my hand, so it hurts. The airport extreme, I think that's what it's called. That's what that's what we have. Then a backside of a router, a Netgear router. And backs. Sorry about that, my sister. I still live at home, so still, unfortunately. But I do. <laughs> Okay, let me find my model real fast. I'm gonna try keep talking to you to try to block out some of her noise. So, um, hold on. You might not have my model anymore. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's an older Netgear router, but older is really crappy. I need to get a new one for my parents. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'll find it in just here. Hold on. Hold up, hold up. And old Netgear router. I don't want to take you to the router room because it is a mess. Our internet room is a mess. Cords are everywhere and I don't want to embarrass myself on the internet. So I'm not going to do it. Sorry all those people that were wondering if I was going to show them my mess. I won't. Here, screw it. I'm just going to find the back of any old router. I don't care. It's not going to make any difference because most of them are the same. Well, not the same configuration, but I can kind of... <clears throat> I, I hate little kid shows. They piss me off with a passion. 
Okay, so here's here we go. So as you remembered the Apple modem I was t showing you, we have that and something very very similar to this. Here, and you might need to reset my router. That looks nice. Anyway, the power button is your fir the first thing. The first step if you want to try to reset something is take the power button out of that and take and plug the power from your modem. And after your modem is, uh, is undone, wait for 20, 15 20 seconds. 10 is the is the is the minimum. But what you do uh, that this tutorial I have to give a little credit to you for giving me the websites I showed you, but otherwise it's